Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thanks to all of you for all the support. We're always connected. I think of you every day and send you love and positive energy. I love doing this and we will continue to read here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So earlier this week, I posted a Law of Attraction tarot card reading a couple weeks ago. I did a four-month predictive. And next Monday, we'll have a more detailed Celtic Cross style reading again for the mid-month. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concern with Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Whoops, we left a card behind. I think we're going to take that as a clarifier. Might as well. When they don't want to go, we don't try to force it. All right, we've got the King of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Very fiery energy for you guys. Six of Swords, Death, and the Empress. Well, you definitely have a, a new beginning showing up here. But boy, is there a persistent energy here. If, you're, if you've got your mind set on doing something with all this fiery energy, you are definitely getting it done. Now, some of you, okay, I know not everybody likes this, but somebody here, there's a reconciliation showing up here. But I feel like you've had quite a bit of conflict in, in, the, in the relationship. And so I just want to kind of point that out. Others of you, though, in terms of relationships, this is also an engagement card. It's reuniting with people. It really is a card of celebration, okay? So when I talk about the conflict, it's kind of related to these wands. It feels like somebody here was too pushy with you. That's what I'm getting. Like they were just too damn pushy. And I just feel like, I feel like their intentions were good, but their approach was not the way to deal with this, whatever that is. But with death too, there's always a rebirth, okay? So when we start to look at this, I actually like it. I mean, <clears throat> pardon me, with especially with the Empress here, you know, we've got definitely got a rebirth and the Empress is such a beautiful energy of love, of abundance, of really creating in your life. So with this, I definitely feel like you have a new beginning showing up here. So if it's not a reconciliation, it may just be a love interest. And also too, I do feel like with all this fiery energy, your life is going to take off. And I also feel like you've got great social aspects here with all these wands. So if you're single, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. Be careful about putting yourself on dating apps. I do feel like you get somebody here who maybe finds out more information about you than you'd like with that page of swords. That also could be your ex lurking in the backdrop, okay? I just want to put it out there. And I know I don't like to bring readings down, but I do feel like, too, if it's an ex, it's like they've got a fake page going on. But anyway, back to this. Um, I was getting ahead with the Page of Swords. With the King of Wands, you've got a dynamic energy. I also feel like you have somebody very charismatic showing up. So this is a card, too. Wands are upwardly mobile. You are going to be making gains any effort you put through. If it was something like you felt you had a project to get done with the two sevens that are here, you are rising to the occasion. You're getting it done. But there's money here, too. So with this knight, or excuse me, king of wands, kings are masters of the suit. So this is you also, too. I feel like you have this way of using your will in a way, or your influence is a better way to say that. So some of you, too, with work, you're going to influence something important in terms of a decision. I also feel like it may be in an, an area where you influence in your family life or relationship life as well because the king is a leader and so I do I feel like you've got a magnetic person coming in but you also have this way about you too to be influential this is great at, um, interview energy too those of you that are looking to get a change with work that's like you can put your best foot forward 
So with the Page of Swords, we got the internet spy going on here. And I just keep getting that. I'm just going to tell you, it's like there's somebody who's keeping tabs on you. Um, I don't want it to be scary because I don't feel like they're threatening at all. I just feel like if it's an ex, they're having a hard time letting you go. But if it's even, again, with somebody new uh, in terms of relationships, there's like this internet kind of connection going on. Now, for others of you, too, this is also adventure. It's a messenger. It's getting out there. It's kind of wanting some freedom as well. So those of you that are looking for that job change or you're looking for travel, because you have that indicated, too, you're definitely going to do what it takes to get yourself out there. This has a bit of a restless quality, so I do feel like somebody has a bit of wanderlust going on where you, somebody, I, I get this again, there's like a job change where you get a couple weeks where you can kind of go do your own thing, go hiking, go spend some time just being uh, out of work for a minute, but I feel like you have enough money to sustain that, okay? it's not. It doesn't feel too risky. It just feels like, Again, there might be just a bit of a gap in there that's going to allow you some of that adventurous energy because especially when you put the Knight of Wands with the Page of Swords, this has an urgency to it. It's moving you forward. It's having that I can't wait to get out there and do it kind of energy. The Knight of Wands will not be stopped too. So again, I do feel like you have somebody coming in who wants to move very fast in a relationship and some of you are going to be okay with that, but I also feel like some of you might create a little bit of resistance. So be up front. Um, now, the Page of Swords is not nearly as good at using his communication as the King or the Queen, but I do feel like they're telling you to be true to yourself, be very upfront with this person, set good boundaries, let them know what you're looking for, just be clear so that they understand, right? And there's no confusion along the way with this because this can get a lot of momentum going too. And so, too, with a job, again, I mentioned you might have a little bit of a gap where you can take some time off, but once that job hits, it's going to pick up. I feel like you're going to have a lot of just activity around you, and it's but it's fun with this kind of energy, so it's expansion that's going to lead to more, and you, you will know it, too, for those of you that are doing something with your career, where you, you understand that what you're putting in, you will get a return on this. So speaking of which, money does grow on trees in the tarot. If you've been waiting and saying, when is this going to happen? I've been waiting on this. Here's your time now. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's watching the return come in. So sevens are successful conclusions in the tarot, but it's victory. So again, anybody with a job change here, if it's been a long time coming and you have not given up on this, or if it's in terms of a relationship and really wanting something stable coming in, I definitely feel like you have a partner with the Empress and it's a beautiful match for you too. The energy of the Empress is really going to be a nice, loving partner coming in. The Pentacles too can be about the physical body as well. And especially with the wands that are here, anything you've done, Pisces, to commit to, you know, clean eating, juicing, something like that, where you're really being intentional about eating whole foods. I do feel like you're going to see and feel like this is really working for me. I feel energized. I feel good about the body. I feel like I'm really taking care of things too. Well, another seven here. Now the seven of wands is you being in alignment. And when we're in alignment, it doesn't mean that we don't have any challenges, but we find solutions almost immediately. So something like the seven of wands, if you have a little bit of a challenging energy around you, and two, those of you that it's reconciliation and you are interested, um, I do feel like you are, you're going to be able to work it out. But I do feel like you have to try a new approach. There's something about that where it's like the same old approach just keeps getting you back to the same starting point again. But with the sevens, again, you're in flow and you're finding solutions to those day-to-day -day problems as they arise. The Six of Swords, this is a wonderful energy in this reading because it has you, not only is your ship coming in a couple of times here, I almost wouldn't have minded to see Two of Pentacles energy, but it's a, it's telling you that things are going to get a lot easier. If you've had some uncertainty or you were disappointed about something or you just haven't been finding what you've been looking for, here's where it comes in. The energy ahead of you is going to be so much easier to navigate. Like I said, in a job, you have this energy that really starts to take off with things, where there's an exciting and enthusiasm about it. If work has been very mundane and just like going through the motions, you're going to have something happen here that's going to help you really feel 
connected again. You know, I feel like it's in a lot of areas of your life, though. Even though this is air energy, it's really got a watery, emotional feel to it. And of course, we know this is water energy, too. So with the death card, you have a rebirth coming. It's a big transition. It's a change new from the old. But it's what you've asked for. You step over the wreckage of the past here into the dawn of a new day. And so, again, I still feel like you have this energy of release, like where you've released resistance, you've released hang-ups from the past. And like we talked about with having a new approach with something, that's going to be easy for you with this. Relationships, too, in this energy are really built on a foundation of trust. They're honest, they're upfront, they're integrous. And they may, again, it may feel like the first time, like this is exactly what I've wanted. It's what I've asked for. So death is always a rebirth. It's not an ending. It's a new life coming in for you. We love the Empress. It, it, there's no downside to this. The Empress is even higher than a queen. I mean, my gosh, she's nobility. So you're going to have wonderfully creative ideas. Again, I feel like a job change for you is going to come right on time with this. If it's not a job change, though, for some of you in terms of a relationship, you know, this is a card of beauty and success. It's using your imagination, of course, but she really is of love. You you have this quality about you with this energy. And I do feel like with whoever you're attracting to, it all begins with love. And that's really like the two of you coming together. It's not in a, a lonely way. It's in a loving way. There's something to give here. This is also a card of fertility too. So some of you, again, I mentioned the fruitfulness of success. But some of you, too, it could be a relationship where there's a child involved, too. So let's see here. We love threes as well. I mean, it really is. It's harmony. It's synergy. It's coming together. Let's see what the angels have to say for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Messages, please, for Pisces. Okay. Messages for Pisces. All right, you have meditation brings answers. So we did kind of dabble in that a little bit. Let go and let the universe. We said this, didn't we? Not to, we let the universe do the heavy lifting. You just need to know what you want and feel that you have it. They say be assertive with those wands. You're going to have a hard time not being assertive and take action. So very co consistent messages here because you have a yes, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.